Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 31 degree um, Tuesday, the 12th of December. Man, you can see the sun, once that fog burns off, will probably pop out at the moment. It's cold. I think it's like 34 now. It's starting to kick up. I don't know what the temperature is, but you can just, you can see or at least sense the blue out there. Anyway, let's head on southbound here and bust out a day's work. Yo, come on along. 49 degrees and amazingly beautiful and sunny here. It is. It's not foggy. No. Yeah, it lifted here a few miles back and I was into that. Yeah. It's it nice. says, Welcome to Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Yes. But, Mama? It's a hubby. Uh, well, it's our Tuesday this week, mm -hmm. or our Monday. It's our Tuesday, Monday. yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> My mind was there; it just didn't come out. Yeah, the words didn't come out right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get in here and bust the day out. Hope you have a well. It looks like you're probably the sunshine people in here already. Yeah. People picking up motorcycles. It's gonna be a busy one. I think so. All right. Have a good day, Mama. You too, happy. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye bye. Now. Mm, bye. This is a park brake cable speed eider. Cable came in and uh, that windshield's up by a mile, isn't it? So I was <laughs> manual. And uh, I'm pretty much like every, everybody else. No one likes the manual six speeds. <laughs> so BRP finally got smart and just canceled that thing they're really weird it's it's not that it's just an emissions thing i guess because they hold an rpm in between shifts you ever seen a guy ever watch a video of a i watched a guy that was like self-proclaiming himself as a reviewer and uh he's riding these bikes and he's not letting go of the throttle in between shifts so he's like, watch, watch it if you do this. Oh, I don't have high enough RPMs, but oh, it's the most ridiculous. I mean, it's like, is this your very first ride on a motorcycle? <laughs> and uh, but anyway, the the six-speed manual on the 1330s would hold that throttle. It drove me nuts riding those things. So you just. It's like go of everything, just hold the clutch and find the little no, 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 no. Man, when I shift, I want that RPMs to just let go. It's just like them riding all the because they feather the the throttle. The computer does. And that's why I'll, you know, all modern cars and most modern motorcycles, when you uh you let go of the throttle, there's like no compression braking. Because the computer is feathering those throttle plates, plate or plates, to hold a, why is it menu mode still up? Uh, holding that thing there drives you absolutely nuts. My Acura, I have to be in sport mode and then in sport shift mode, and then it just, boy, it's really nice. But otherwise, you let go, and it's just like, it's like you somehow or another kicked it in neutral, just floats. Now, if you let go of the throttle for a period, it goes, oh, okay. And then it'll give you a little compression braking. But, dude, when I let go of the throttle, I want to feel that thing go, bah. It's been motorcycles always, always, always were. Of course, they were always carbureted. It had no choice. When you let go of the throttle, <laughs> it shut off the, the, the air supply, you know. It's the old boom. Whether it was a butterfly throttle or... Yeah, you, like, grossly ran that one, buddy. Jeez. And the worst thing is they're running it so they speed up. So they'll do maximum impact if, you know, someone takes off because their light turned green like they're supposed to. That's why you pause and wait. So I think this thing's got a, uh, a pre-muffler these old twins every once in a while you get one when you start them up cold they go clack, 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 clack. sounds like a cam chain tincture total fail 
but don't panic. Don't go, oh, it needs cam chain tensioners because, well, we only run BRP oil in there and that's, that's not an issue on these things. You put some other oils in there, oh man, the stories I could tell. I'm just not going to spend that extra dollar a quart. Really, guy? I mean, really. But, uh, I'm not talking about anybody. That guy was walking. I'm just thinking, they'll probably think I'm talking about that guy walking down the road. I'm talking about the people that are buying an expensive motorcycle and then go cheap on the oils. Or just, you know, believe oil is oil and yeah, no. Especially the old twins, like this one. All kinds of weird stuff. Premature, you know, because people don't, especially on the SEs, SE5s, they don't follow the rules to keep that thing over 4,000 RPMs. The only reason you keep this around 4,000 RPMs is because a purge valve doesn't kick in until then. But you can shift it wherever you want. I can go all the way to fifth gear there now. I can lug along at 2,000 RPMs. There's no centrifugal clutch. When I let go of the clutch lever, the springs grab the clutch. <laughs> like an idiot, I thought it was going to auto downshift. Guess what? Manual means manual. It's all my controls. Is that my boy standing here? No, that's not him. Well, it is. Oh, hey there, Rick. How are you doing? You doing all right? Man, I have... Another fancy one. Yeah, yeah. Got the high class on it. <laughs> have you got the tires to squeak yet on? Not on this one. Not on this one. Oh, they, they will squeak, you though. Can, you can do it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Very nice day. All right. You do the same. Nice seeing you. How about that? Bumped into old Rick. <laughs> do like the manual five speeds now the compression braking isn't great but it's there Let's see it backs off I want him I want him to go you know like like my Himalayan or all the Royal Enfields man that 350 the yeah the himalayan the gt the gt literally you need to be holding on you got you get that thing up in rpms and you crack that throttle <laughs> she all but wants to squawk the back wheel and they get that out of there it's it's a safety thing because they don't know what rookie's going to be riding this thing, and that that can startle them, startle people. You know, a lot of things have the slipper grippers, and if you do it excessively, it'll slip to save you. It's cam, so that under D-cell, if it's excessive, it'll actually ride that ramp and open itself up a little bit and allow it to slip. And the nice thing about that is, is usually you have three little light clutch springs on there. That wind, can you see the bike moving around? It's that freaking windy out here. But the cool thing about it, you have a really super soft clutch. And uh, when you grab it, it cams in a tight position. Slipper gripper. Everybody kind of, the little slang term is for them. At first they were just slippers, and then they go, hmm, we can make a really nice clutch feel. And when you goose it, it cams in and actually squeezes the plates harder. All right, I see you back there. Pay attention, my winky dinkies. Pay attention, pay attention. Thank you. It's sad that you literally have to spend as much time looking in your mirrors as you do looking ahead it seems like especially when you're in traffic you never know what kind of crazy things people are going to do those old proprietary brakes people go, what can i do to make them stop um buy a newer spider with brimbos <laughs> 
had a guy that because it's the rear that squeaks more than anything else that would literally just replace the whole caliper like once every couple years and that's that's not cheap <laughs> my boy in there today he's busy he's a busy boy all that moss on the ground so I when I was digging through that stuff I found one of my gauntlets that I I think it was like 2001 I bought them I don't like them because they you know where the glove meets the grip that sticks and then your hand touching the inside of the glove it sticks well the insulation was so thick in between that it kind of swirled around so you, I mean literally you could move your hand on the handlebar with the foam or insulation whatever it was in between the you know, outside of the glove and inside of the glove I think I told you guys a story years ago about a semi truck an old like an early 70s, late 60s white Freightliner, COE, that was driving down Spirit Lake Highway. I was living at Silver Lake at the time. And I'm coming home in the dark. I don't remember where I'd went. It was just me. And um, I come across the top of the hill. There's this highest spot up there by uh, South Silver Lake, I think is what the name of the road is. And you start heading downhill is going in the direction towards the mountain or Spirit Lake or uh, Silver Lake well Spirit Lake too but it's not there anymore <laughs> but anyway I look back and I'm like what it went under a street light and I'm like what the heck there's a COE Freightliner white Freightliner an older one yet that was railing up on me with no lights on and he would just show up under the lights I'll just do a quick little walk around this thing and um, and then we got farther and I come down the hill on the other side and I thought well okay he's going downhill he's feeling a little spirited and I'm going faster and faster he's getting faster and faster and went past this thing where that first visitor center is and on the left hand side is I think it's called Sequest Park it's a, like a campground stuff and these big old street lights and he'd pass under and the truck would appear and then disappear it was just appearing and disappearing as he went through the lights and then the last one I mean that freaked me out so I really roll on and I look back and the last light he went through he was just black sooting out the out the exhaust he was literally chasing me so I got up you know there's a bit of twisty stuff and um them gloves are freaking me out I was on the that Yamaha Venture and um let's walk around while I'm talking so I didn't feel like I was in control of the bike and uh so anyway I'm freaking out so you finally get to a point where you hit this long sweeper that goes around uh Silver Lake and I said I'm gonna lose him here I'm gonna wick this thing up to buck 40 if I have to well all of a sudden oh, he whips off and takes a left and it was this last house on the left before it hits that opening and goes ar around the Silver Lake and um next day we go to work and uh yeah it's just like a old single wide mobile home or something down there and a bunch of old dead cars and there's that truck and it was all green and mossy like it had been sitting out in the woods for a long time i mean literally the creepiest thing i got this weird thing about trucks anyway i don't know if when i was a kid watching the movie duel with dennis weaver but uh yeah that was freaky i never wore those gauntlet gloves again but I found one of them. I don't know where the other is. It was over there by those tubs. It was by the air compressor. Anyway, I bought a new set of Climb. They're snowmobile gloves that are nice gauntlets that go way up. And they feel very warm. They got some kind of reflective stuff that reflects your body heat and stuff. They seem really warm. So things like bringing the 350 home on most likely Saturday, but I may check it out and do it Friday. I want to do it Saturday because it should be sunny, but the weather could change. 2010 Spider RTS SM5, 5 speed manual. Oh, the only difference in the cable, I lined them all out. The only difference is the new cable has little white rings 
where the metal clamps that bolt the cable underneath the lower side of the swing arm that keeps it away from the catalytic converter. Um, that's the only difference. But yet the part, when you look up this one, it just says discontinued, no availability, no ETA, will never be ordered. And in fact, they got a, a thing from BRP because this part is discontinued and will not be reordered. Meaning, figure something out. 11 and 12 is the same cable, it just has a little white stripe where they want you to put the clamps. <laughs> Why couldn't you just supersede the part? Maybe it would have, but you know, they had that big computer thing that went down a while back. But anyway, I got those and I never did find that, you know, tender lead or, you know, the SAE two pin from your battery charging lead that went into the vest couldn't find that thing yesterday I did something with it when uh when I went on that trip it's probably st stashed in my I, I got a pile of stuff you know in that room with my uh, RC cars and uh, it's probably in there somewhere but I just bought another one this morning I got the last one when I got the first one now there's like five or six of them on the shelf so I got another one of those I got Optimate 1 the little ones that plug into the wall like I was showing you most of the ones I have in this in the shop at home are the Moose branded ones but they are as I say 100% of Optimate in fact when you open the box up all the literature everything's all Optimate So, uh, I'm, uh, I'm initially, whoop, wrong gear. I'm initially drop it off down here. Let them know it's done. Every time I bring something up, I get this, well, what do you want us to do with it? It's <laughs> your bike. But, as you can see, they need to have one of the guys uh, give this thing a detail. She's, she's rough. I don't know if it's set out. I don't know what the history of it prior to me getting it was uh, the cable was undiagnosed it sent out in the rain and and they went to act literally uh, move it somewhere and the cable wouldn't let go she's nice and smooth now well thanks for coming along for a rip well hello there you two oh, man it's 32 degrees out here Cold. With sunshine comes some crazy cold. Yes, it does. But it's already foggy out there. It ought to be some, yeah, some kind of thick tomorrow morning. Mm hmm But uh oh, um Terry, you remember he sent us some some cool stuff for it, us uh the thumb wheels for the RC cars and that really cool what do you call that thing with the Diamond. Yeah. Yeah. He sent us that stuff here a while back. Anyway, he sent something else um kelly picked it up yesterday when she went to the to the doctor she swung by the post office and um i didn't open it until we were done with the video and then today uh donnie mm -hmm. sent a couple of really cool things so um terry and donnie we plan on doing a, a mail call thing tomorrow yes how about that mm. all this stuff kind of came up in between other plans <laughs> mm -hmm. Not really plans. I just had not a enough time. Yeah, but anyway, we'll do that tomorrow. But it's colder than holy heck out here. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's in that nice warm house. Come out like, Bleh! it's cold out here. But anyway, make it short and sweet on the goodbye tonight. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. yeah. All right. We we'll see you in the frozen morning. Yeah, we'll see you then. That'll All be right. fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye now. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.